Let's try to make this the only nuclear war story. Released in 1983, Barefoot Gen is the first of two animated films which adopt the manga of the same name. It is inspired by artist Keiji Nakazawa's own experiences as a survivor of the 1945 Hiroshima bombing. It's one of several Nakazawa works centered around the bombing, including the autobiographical Ore Wamita, which was released in the United States in 1982, ten years after appearing in Shonen Jump. Gen is a young boy living in a large family consisting of his parents, his older sister Eiko, and a younger brother named Shinji. It's hard enough to feed all of them given the heavy rationing. In complicating matters, his mother Kimie is pregnant and struggling to stay healthy. Gen and Shinji are forced to understand the harsh reality of wartime living. As young children, they have a difficult time balancing their own needs with the needs of the family. For example, they fight over a single potato, and they run throughout the house and they wrestle in just about every room over this thing. They get some sense talked into them, of course, and so when Kimie collapses, they sneak out one night to steal a fish from a private pond. And fortunately for them, the pond's owner is a very understanding man. When the morning of August 6th arrives, we already know what's going to happen, and the film shows the Enola Gay taking off, unknown to the characters. And while Gen is on his way to school, the bomb is dropped. And what follows is a truly horrifying scene. We have bodies melt, buildings shatter, and flames engulf what is left of the city. Gen rushes home to find his mother, attempting to free the rest of the family who were trapped under burning debris. Their efforts fail. And so now, at the age of six, Gen is given the responsibility of protecting his mother and her unborn baby. Not long after this, Kimie goes into labor, and so it falls upon Gen to deliver the baby. And so, surrounded by the horror of death, we are presented with the miracle of life. In one of the film's most moving scenes, the newborn baby is held up and given a full view of the devastated city around them. She, along with the audience, is told to soak in the view of the war that took away her family. And it's a warning that Nakazawa is delivering to future generations, to avoid walking the same path that led to such tragedy. The struggle to survive in post-bomb Hiroshima forces Gen to grow up very quickly. With his mother and new little sister in need of care, it becomes Gen's job to forage for food. And he's able to discover a storehouse full of rice, but the real problem is milk for the baby. Kimie's poor health has rendered her unable to produce her own, and they lack the money needed to purchase milk on the black market. Around this time, Gen also becomes aware of radiation sickness. Although they didn't know that's what it was at the time, the symptoms are painfully visible. He meets a soldier who is losing his hair in clumps, vomiting blood, and also suffering from anal bleeding. And so when Gen's own hair starts to fall out, he understandably panics. Once again, he is confronted with a terrifying situation at such a young age. But despite all of this, there are rays of hope by the end of the film. They meet an orphan, Ryuta, who is the spinning image of Gen's dead brother, Shinji, and the family adopts him without hesitating. Ryuta indeed becomes like a brother to Gen. Then, they discover that grass is growing again. Only a few weeks after the bomb fell, now, the belief was widespread that it would take 70 years before anything would grow again, so naturally, this gives Gen a fresh resolve to look ahead to the future. That does it for this edition of the blog. Carnegie Mellon students, your chance to see Barefoot Gen has passed, but Barefoot Gen 2 will be playing in Doherty Hall 2315 at 7 p.m. on Sunday, October 2nd. You can also find copies of the original manga in Hunt Library. For more anime on campus, check out Vermillion in Margaret Morrison Hall, Room 103, every Saturday at 7 p.m. I'm Dan, and I am out.